So this isn't RPCS3, the PlayStation 3 emulator, nor is this Ryujinx, the Nintendo Switch emulator. This is actually Xenia, the Xbox 360 emulator running on the Apple Silicon Mac for the very first time. Now this is all possible thanks to recent changes in Apple support for AVX on Rosetta 2 on macOS Sequoia. And over the last couple of days, we've been using this to play Windows games that require the AVX instruction set through Crossover. But today what we're actually doing is running the Xenia Xbox 360 emulator through Crossover on Mac macOS Sequoia, taking advantage of those previously missing AVX requirements, which are now available on macOS Sequoia beta. So yes, this is really early stages. Obviously, it's not ideal to run an emulator through the crossover translation layer. There are huge inefficiencies at play here. We are emulating a PPC CPU through an x86 64-bit application being run through Rosetta 2 on an ARM64 chip. And we are translating the DirectX graphics API onto Metal. So it's pretty much a miracle that this thing even works at all. So the process to get this working is pretty straightforward. I'll leave a link in the description for my macOS Sequoia and Steam tutorial video, which also shows you how to integrate the new version of D3D Metal provided by Game Porting Toolkit 2. All you need to do is to open up Crossover on macOS Sequoia. Then I'm going to create a new bottle. I'm just using a spare Steam bottle here. Then I'm going to leave a link in the description for this Reddit thread on the Xenia subreddit. This is where user xgraybaron patched out the AVX checking requirement, even though we have AVX functions on macOS Sequoia. This allows us to download the emulator and have this run on macOS. Obviously downloading software from random third parties isn't actually recommended. If you're patient I'm sure a more official build from Xenia will come in the future. But anyway we've downloaded the Xenia Canary files and what I'm going to do is to enable msync and d3d metal on the steam bottle that we created earlier. Then I'm going to run command and then look for the downloaded canary files of Xenia that we downloaded earlier. We want the canary version. I'm enabling the metal HUD in order to see the frame rate counter. And then all we do is press the run button. It warns us that we don't have AVX support when we do. It even has a custom macOS Sequoia message. And then once we're ready, we can go ahead and press file and then open. And then we can open up an Xbox 360 ROM. So I can't show you where to get these from. You should be ripping them from your own jailbroken Xbox 360. But anyway, all we need to do is to open Open up the ISO file and we can get going. So in the rest of this video I'm just going to show you some examples of games that I've managed to get running. So the first game we're looking at is Red Dead Redemption. So there are actually a couple of options to play this on other emulators. You can use the RPCS3 version which doesn't actually perform very well or you can use the Nintendo Switch version of the game which is probably better than playing this through Xenia. Nevertheless as one of the hardest games to emulate from this generation it's actually not too bad considering that Xenia is one of the newest emulators and the fact that we are running through so many different translation layers. So next up is the first Xbox 360 exclusive game that I could find, Fable 2. This never got a Windows PC release, so it's quite interesting to see this running on a Mac, probably for the very first time on Apple Silicon hardware. Not sure the graphics have aged that well, but it seems to play at an interesting frame rate. There are some graphical glitches here and there. But anyway, interesting to see that this works. Can't wait to see what kind of optimizations might come in the future to make this game run better. So next we're looking at the Simpsons game. So this is one of those huge multi-platform titles from back in the day. It was released on PS2, PS3, Xbox 360, PSP, Wii. There's a version for the DS, which is kind of completely different from this particular third person action game. However, it does seem to run fine on my Mac through Xenia. Next, we're looking at a 2D shoot em up called Don Don Pachi Saido Oju. So obviously being a completely 2D dimensional game this actually runs great through the emulator as to be expected. The gameplay seems pretty good and even stuff like the voices and the two-dimensional cutscenes and videos all seem to play fine through Xenia. Next we're looking at Skate 3. So Skate 3 actually runs really well through RPCS3, the PlayStation 3 emulator. So it's good to see a relatively demanding three-dimensional title actually seem to perform perfectly well on Xenia on a Mac. So to play this game I paired up an Xbox Series controller. There aren't really any actual settings that you can actually choose through Xenia. It just seemed to pick up the first Bluetooth controller that I connected up. Here I'm easily doing ollies with the right analog stick and it all seems to work fine. So here is Gears of War 2. So this is an Xbox 360 exclusive. This also never got a PC release. Therefore the Xenia emulator is pretty much the only way to play this game on a Mac. There is no PC version to emulate. This is one of the very first third person action cover shooters which really kind of defined the genre and it seems to be running well on my MacBook Pro with the M3 Max chip. 
getting into cover, gunplay, movement, they all feel pretty good. Especially as this was a very demanding game for the Xbox 360 and it actually feels very playable here. So lastly we're looking at Forza Horizon 2. So Forza 5 is pretty much the most requested game that I've been asked to look at so far and unfortunately that doesn't work even despite all of the AVX improvements to game porting toolkit 2. I'm sure that someone will figure out how to get that working in the future but for now if you wanted to play a Forza game on a Mac then you could do worse than playing the previous entry in the series Forza 2. Now the rendering seems fine apart from the fact that there is this quite annoying black shadow bug in the distance which does seriously hamper how the game is played as your eye is constantly drawn towards the horizon and it's blocked by those black shadows but I'm sure that this will get fixed in the future. Anyway big thanks to X Grey Baron for distributing a build of Xenia with all of the AVX fixes and obviously we should be very grateful to the Xenia team for developing this free open source software and I'd also like to thank Discord user Sinful for bringing this emulator to my attention. Thanks for answering all the questions. Anyway, as you can see, Xbox 360 emulation is still in its very early infancy and I'm hoping to find further improvements to emulation of Xbox 360 games. If you discover any new developments, then please make sure to leave a comment. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.